Now to the anguished parents tonight and the very disturbing surveillance here amid horrific allegations of fraternity hazing at the University of Missouri. A student allegedly force fed alcohol, now paralyzed, blind and unable to speak. Tonight here, his family demanding criminal charges. And here's Will Reeve. Tonight, the family of Danny Santulli is pleading for criminal hazing charges after the college freshman nearly died while pledging a fraternity at the University of Missouri. It makes me sick to my stomach seeing the people involved um, that harmed Danny walking around campus acting like they did nothing wrong. For the first time, we see surveillance footage from inside the Pi Gamma Delta fraternity house on October 19th, showing blindfolded pledges being led down a staircase. According to the family's civil lawsuit that was recently settled against 23 defendants, Danny was pressured to drink an entire bottle of vodka. We see one of the fraternity members putting a tube in Danny's mouth with a funnel at the other end and pouring beer down his throat while Danny is in the middle of consuming an entire bottle of vodka. Danny is seen losing his balance and falling backwards. Fraternity members then carry him into another room and drop him onto a sofa. About 90 minutes later, Danny begins to slip onto the floor. As the minutes tick by, he struggles to move, then lies still. After 15 minutes, another fraternity member finds Danny unresponsive, lifting him back onto the sofa. Other brothers come into the room. They carry Danny to the door, but he's dropped onto the floor before they take him to the hospital. His lips were blue and nobody called 911. It's like... I don't know. I mean, a six year old calls 911. At the hospital, Danny is in cardiac arrest. His blood alcohol level a near lethal 0.486, six times the legal driving limit. He suffered permanent brain injury. What do the doctors tell you about Danny? That he'll need care for life. He's still not talking or walking. He's in a wheelchair. Um, he lost his vision. Um, but he hears us and he knows we're there. The University of Missouri has since revoked the fraternity's charter and proposed sanctions against 13 of its members. Prosecutors have charged one fraternity member with two misdemeanors for supplying alcohol to a minor. But the family says that's not enough. Your family believes that Danny was hazed? Oh, 100%. Yes. Mm -hmm. I do personally want to see specific kids get felony Ds. That's going to wake them up. David, the fraternity says that they prohibit hazing and giving alcohol to minors and that Danny should not have been put in such a situation. David. All right, Will Reeve tonight. Will, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.